You know, I always, um, when I graduated from college, I said, you know, I'd love to work at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So that kind of became a dream. But then to uh, take that dream towards my passion, which is motorcycles, made it that much more special. And I'm already passionate about the play, about the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, my job, but to bring those th two things together has just been incredible. You know, internally they knew that you're the motorcycle guy, here you talk to these guys. Uh, so we met with um, Dorna in 1999 when we were still building the F1 course. And in 2000, they were here the day after the Formula One race to uh, to do a track assessment to start taking a look at it. So, so really, you know, the, the conversations went all the way back to 1999. Uh, it was like, you know, I'd love to, but it, you know, it, we have to make sure that it makes sense for a business model. And um, you know, incredibly, you know, nine years later, that kind of came to fruition. So, where it fit in at the time, uh, you know, I don't think we were really prepared for it. And, and we had to do a lot of work to bring MotoGP here. We, we put these four new turns in down into turn one. Um, had to fix some runoffs, you know, change the direction of the track. It was a significant investment that we had to make to make motorcycling work here. And uh, I think the course has turned out to be pretty cool. And, and when the riders or the drivers come out here, we want the conditions to be perfect. And uh, the winters are really challenging in, in the Midwest. So we've, there were a few bumps in the track. We did everything that we could last year to to fix those. We thought, you know, after that race and the feedback, we're like, well, the right thing to do is to pave it and to make it smooth. And, uh, you know, the prediction is that they're going to break the track record, which is really cool, so. It's, it's really great to work with MotoGP. Um, they're very organized. They throw a, a basically a manual at you, and, and you need to um, work off that manual. The teams are all very organized, so there's tons of planning that goes on. It doesn't eliminate uh, all the challenges race weekend that you come up with because then you add in you know, the, the general public and uh, the spectators and all those things. For the most part, um, the weekends go pretty smooth. We have a great staff here uh, that, that takes care of all the fans and the teams and uh, it's just that great team effort that, that goes to making this event so successful. Yeah, I wouldn't say that we would do that, but occasionally if you need to blow off some steam, certainly you can go check the track in a car pretty easily. Um, usually I can make a few laps during the Kevin Schwann school and, and do it under um, uh, proper channels, which is good. So, but uh, you know, all in all, it's, uh, it's an amazing place to work at with a few extra perks. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, after school every day, uh, I would come over here in May and, and watch the racing activity. I'd sneak in the garage area at the end of the day. Um, you know, I was just passionate about it from a, a young age. And um, so to be able to take carry that on is, is pretty special. I mean, it's, uh, I feel very fortunate to be able to do that.